Today's unobtainium project is a lightweight aluminum clevis for one of our aerospace customers. I programmed the clevis using Autodesk Inventor CAM software. We're going to do this in two operations. The first operation is a five axis operation. The second is a three axis operation. And let me show you what that looks like when we simulate it. The first cutting path is a adaptive cutting path. What this does is it roughs out the part, leaves five to seven thousandths all the way around the part, and then we'll come back later and clean it up and bring each of those surfaces into tolerance. So what you're seeing here is the roughing path of taking all the excess material away. We're very close to doing the first contour pass which is right there, that's around the base, brings it to within tolerance, and now we're cleaning up the sides of the clevis, bringing both of those into uh, to tolerance there, cleaning up the face of that. As you can see, we are using a radius cutting tool, so it's putting a nice radius beveled edge when it comes and does each of the cuts. That'll give uh, a nice radius edge all the way around this clevis to prevent any uh, stress cracks from forming there. And now we're drilling and the final pass is to clean up the inside of the clevis. Again, this is a radius tool you can see right there. And this is the chamfer tool to come back and break all the sharp edges on the part. So that is it for operation one. Let's switch over to operation two. Very similar to the first operation. We're going to rough, rough it using an adaptive path. And then we're going to come back and just clean it up, taking off five thousandths to bring it to within tolerance. And that is it. So this part is done. Let me go and show you what that looks like in the shop. The first step in the machining operation is to load your blank stock into the machine and locate it with the touch probe. Measures the top, sides, front and back tells the machine where this part is. First op takes a standard end mill and does a roughing pass on the whole outside of the part. We pull up now a corner radius end mill for doing the finish passes all around the part. Next is the drilling operations and the deburring operations before we move on to the second operation where we do a rough pass and a finish pass to end up with a finished part. And now needs to be deburred. So the best way to do that is a deburring wheel. It's a soft fibrous disc on just a simple grinder buffer. And there's no better way of uh, taking out the sharp edges on a low quantity run like this. Some of the edges you can't reach with a chamfer tool. So this is a flexible shaft. I think it's a Fordham uh, flexible shaft uh, deburring tool with a flap wheel disc. And it does a great job of reaching into the corners where a, uh, a chamfer tool just can't reach to take off, take off those little burrs. And next would be a, a standard deburring tool for uh, putting a chamfer on all the holes. But if you haven't seen one of these yet, you need one of these. It's called a reversible countersink. Slide it in, flip out the blades, deburr the inside and outside of the holes, and then you uh, activate it, pull the tool out, and go ahead and do it again. So. Uh, so that's it. Now we got to do a QC check on all the, the sizes. So this is, a, I believe it was a 3 eighths of an inch. And uh, so the 3 eighths pin goes in great. The next pin up is 0.376. It does not fit, so that part is good. Each bag gets wrapped in its own eight mil thick, heavy plastic bag and sticky bubble wrap keeps everything secure unless you wrap up your hand in it and that takes the process a bit longer. So uh, packed, ready to ship off to the customer. I hope you've enjoyed the video of this lightweight aluminum clevis. It is definitely a non-existent unobtainium part. And if you have any questions about the tools and the processes used, fire them off in the comments below. I'll get you some answers, but I'm presenting a new challenge. We have got a brand new unobtainium part. What is it and what does it do? If you can guess what it does and where does it go, 
Put it in the comments below. I've got some t-shirts. I'll get them out to everyone who guesses correctly. I'm uh, prototyping this right now and shooting the video. It'll be out in the next couple days. So uh, hope you guys uh, guess right and hope you're doing great. God bless. I'll see you in the next video.